Good morning everybody, Marcus back again here with another quick how-to video and I wanted to share everybody my Streamlabs OBS audio settings for the Blue Yeti microphone to where I really really improved my sound. If you go to some of my previous videos you can see that I, the, I do have the Blue Yeti microphone but the sound quality isn't very great. I had it on a, on a mount uh on the mount that it came with and it just it it was horrible the gain was too high and i found um, some resources online and i wanted to share with everybody the first thing that i obviously wanted to share was i've got uh, my blue yeti microphone on this uh on the scissor arm stand which is i think extremely important to get the uh, just to get it away from you get it off the desk but also to get it as close as you can to your face uh, secondly, the Blue Yeti on the back has four settings, and you could just Google this. You know, the steroid, cardioid, omnidirectional, and bidirectional. And obviously, for you know streaming or podcasting, you're going to want to go cardioid mode because you just want it to capture what's coming in front of it. It won't capture what's coming in behind here. Um, you know, case in point, I'll uh, I'll hit my Razor Orb Weaver. Here's my Razor Orb Weaver. I want to go ahead and I'm going to hit the keys and it and it won't pick it up, but that's also in the settings. See, I was pressing the keys and it wasn't, wasn't doing anything. But what I wanted to sh share with everybody was the filters on Streamlabs OBS to really maximize your sound quality. So we're gonna go here, and you can see I've got my Yeti microphone. I'm gonna click the little gear for settings. And we're going to go over to filters. And I've got four filters here. And the first filter that I want to talk about, click the wrong thing. The first filter that I want to talk about is noise suppression and how this works. What noise suppression does is it won't allow your microphone to pick up anything above this, this decibel rating. So if it's under minus 25 decibels, it won't pick it up on the microphone. Uh, case in point would be I can start uh, I could start snapping my fingers and it won't pick it up. As I get closer, it picks it up. I'm snapping my fingers. So that's a cool thing because you don't want you know doors closing or if there's stuff going on behind you and all this kind of stuff, right? You don't want that kind of stuff to. Um, to affect your stream. The second filter is going to be the noise gate throat, uh, filter. So that means at minus 26 decibels, my microphone will actually open up and that is when it chimes in. So if you see right here, you'll see that there's nothing going on. There's nothing going on right here when I'm silent. But yet I've got a fan going, I've got my finger snapping. Nothing's, nothing's picking up on the microphone. It'll close it at minus 32 decibels. So it'll close the microphone, won't allow anything to open at minus 32 decibels. The attack time, hold time, and release time, that's in milliseconds. I would just keep it at 25, 200, and 150. And always, and this is something that I learned, was keep your open and closed threshold within four to five decibels of each other. So that way, it's it, it's not too much. If it's too much of a gap, it'll your sound, your microphone will sound choppy. Next up, I want to show you guys is gain. Now the Blue Yeti has a gain gauge. I recommend you turn the gain on your physical microphone all the way down turn the gain all the way down the blue yeti is a strong microphone it'll pick up everything if you just slightly <laughs> turn the gain up however the streamlabs obs filter of turning the gain up just a few decibels helps it really really helps out a lot so i actually experimented and i found for myself that turning the gain up about three decibels um was a good um, was a good setting for me some people do five some people do one you could even do a fraction, but um, turn the gain just a little bit up and experiment with your voice and see if it helps out. I think it does. Now, most importantly, now we've talked about raising the volume and turning and 
changing it to where your microphone won't click in under a certain decibel rating. Here is something that is amazing. This is the compressor. What the compressor does, it does a, a few things, but most importantly is that it kind of harmonizes the sound of your um, of your voice. And it also prevents, like if something exciting happens in your stream and you start yelling and screaming, it won't blare in the microphone, it won't blast it, it'll actually keep it kind of under control. So if I were to go, yeah, then it won't, that won't sound as loud. I kind of scream that, but in the microphone, it didn't really, didn't really blare it. It didn't blare it. It's to keep it so they can still hear the fact that you're yelling, but it doesn't hurt people's ears. Now, when it comes to um, the, the compressor settings, it's all a matter of your own personal voice. And that's why it's kind of hard, but I'm going to leave this up as an example of what to do. I've gone a ratio as high as 10 to experiment, but I found that a ratio of three for my personal voice is um, pretty decent because uh, my voice isn't as deep as a lot of people's voices, but it's not as um, light. It's kind of in the middle. Uh, my threshold is at minus 24. I've experimented with like minus 24 to minus 18, but I found that this one was kind of good. And attack, I kept at six. Um, I released the compressor at, uh, at at 30, which is good. But then I then the most important thing was I upped the output gain. I had this at zero. And I found that if you up the output gain, it just really, it gives your voice a much more richer sound on the microphone. And that's one thing that if you look at this video compared to a previous video, it's like, it's like night and day. It's just, it feels like, it almost feels like it's a, a recording studio sound, like a or movie quality sound that's coming out of this microphone. And it's amazing. Out of a hundred dollar microphone and a free piece of software, we can get this type of, um, this type of production, but I highly, highly recommend that you mess around with these settings on Streamlabs OBS, as well as your Blue Yeti. Yeti. And um, yeah, that's it. I wanted to keep this video as short as sweet, so you guys can see um, all of the uh, all of the filters that you can do and how it all plays out. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or want to share your settings. Um, and don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe.